Here's this week's Steam Code Raffle winner. I give a Steam Code for a free game away with every video I do, and all you have to do to enter is leave a comment that wouldn't violate Twitter's terms of service. Make sure you have contact info in your YouTube profile so I can reach out to you. A complete list of games to choose from is in the description below. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a chance to win. Now on with the show! I'm playing something almost every week, and sometimes I want to talk about it and give you a vertical slice. So stick with me for some lightning reviews. This week on The Chopping Block. This week I was thinking of playing This War of Mine, a game where you play as a survivor trying to scrounge around for supplies in a war-torn hellscape as the other humans around them either perish or resort to their own unspeakable acts in order to carry out the war or just survive. But then I thought to myself, I don't want to play that. I work in retail, it's the week of Black Friday, and it's only going to bring back the Vietnam flashbacks. So I decided that instead I would play something nice, peaceful, and something I could just relax into my recliner with. Cue A Short Hike by Adam Robinson Yu. I actually played this a while ago on Steam, but it left such a positive impression that I eventually decided that when Super Rare Games was going to be making a physical copy for the Switch, I had to have it. You play as Claire, a bird girl who's been brought to a small vacation cabin on an island. What's your objective? Well, Claire was seemingly expecting some manner of phone call from their mother, but the island has no reception. The only place where you might be able to get a signal is the top of the mountain on the island, and you're gonna go to, well, take a short hike. That description might say that there is an absolute objective for you to go on, but in reality, the game doesn't really care. This game is intending more for you to relax and take things at your own pace. Do you want to climb the mountain to receive that phone call? Go ahead. What if you get a shovel and just want to go around and dig up treasures? You do you. There's no time limit and seemingly no significant consequence, just an initial overall goal for you to seek when you feel like it. Gameplay is very simple. You have a consistent and semi-fixed isometric view of the world as you explore, and Claire can do basic platforming. The only significant means of character upgrading or leveling that you can do is acquiring golden feathers in order to gain the ability to climb or fly to a limited extent. Depending on the little side objectives that you might be able to take on, you can move a little faster by acquiring running shoes. While I described the game as a platformer, the only real consequence for failing to navigate certain portions of the world is that you have to go around and try again. You don't take damage, and there's no failure state. The game is just pleasant and nice, and... <sighs> and this game is exactly what I needed this past week. Okay, given the week I've had and how genuinely this game just made me feel good, I'm cutting off the script and just kind of recalling a few things or gushing about a certain aspects of a short hike. First of all, I, I really like the art style. It's vaguely reminiscent of Animal Crossing. The creatures are very simple and cartoony, and the pixelated graphics just, you know, have a certain charm about them. And finding all these other characters... The objectives they give, you know, they don't unload a hell of a lot of backstory on you, but some of them just give enough to, you know, make them feel like a character. And a lot of them just, you know, as far as objectives go, they're like, hey, you want to uh, help me out with this thing? If not, no big deal. There's one small relative that I ended up uh, spending a fair amount of time just hunting down seashells so she could make a necklace for my aunt. I remember coming across this one character who was training for a marathon that was taking place on the island, but they lost their lucky headband, so I start looking around for it. And then I talk to one of the other creatures, and turns out they've got a headband that they're not really all that attached to, but it turns out that the uh, headband that they gave me, uh, you know, they themselves were uh, actually a famous marathon runner, and the other person knew them, and they were, like, more than happy to have this replacement headband that was, they now considered even luckier than the one that they lost. There's the artist that you come across doing a, a bunch of different paintings on the island, and you get to sort of see their own thought processes, and, uh, see how, you know, they're just kind of going around doing their own thing, and, you know, getting a look into their mind, thinking about what they're doing as they paint, and finding different areas, and, and how they're, they may not be satisfied with certain parts of the painting that they're making, but they don't give up. They just keep going around and doing it. Yeah, and a little bit of a story spoiler here, but the end of the game, it, it resonated with me. You learn that there was some sort of medical thing that Claire was waiting for a phone call on their mother to give them an update for. And, you know, things were rough, but they ultimately worked out and it gave me a chance to reflect I spent a lot of the last couple weeks in a fair amount of anxiety, 
trying to make preparations for my job, trying to overcome my own health issues and, you know, recover from a, a medley of viruses that I had. And this game helped remind me I need to just take things at my own pace and stop trying to worry so damn much. Just keep plugging along and do your thing and eventually a resolution will come and everything will work out. Just keep moving. All right, I'm going to go back to the script to finish out the video now. I've had enough time to rant about this title and give you my genuine, non-prescripted thoughts on this. Given that you can beat this game in its main objective in about an hour, some might consider this game a little bit light on the ground. But for me, the emotional resonance makes this more than worth the asking price. I hope this game is exactly what someone needs as we go screaming into the holiday season. And speaking of which, let me just take a moment to wish you, my audience, a happy holiday. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to look to the future with a bit more optimism. Hey, look at that, it's the end of the video. Don't forget to subscribe and remember that commenting can actually win you a free prize. So until next time, this is a guillotine saying thanks for watching and keep your head on your shoulders.